Okay, we're going to look at limits today. So your compulsory homework tonight is to go and watch Mean Girls, because there's a bit in Mean Girls about answering the question. I won't give it away. But obviously, once you know this, you're going to go, oh, yes, that's how that works. So there are two parts to limits that we have to know about. One is graphical and one is numerical or algebraic. What we're actually trying to do is we're trying to find out what the value of something is in a function. So it's really easy. It's written like this. The limit as x approaches 2 of 3x plus 1. Really all that's saying is what is the value of this function when x equals 2? So it would be 3 times 2 plus 1 is 7. Okay, and there are lots that are very easy and straightforward like that. The problem is that there are lots that are not. So if we've got this one, what happens when we put 2 in? We get 11 over 0. Can't have a denominator of 0, therefore it doesn't exist. So the value doesn't exist. We're not interested in the value, all right? So the value is going to be, value, it's going to be 11 over 0. So it doesn't exist. All right? But we're looking for the limit. We're looking for, if it did exist, whereabouts might it be? All right? So what we need to do is we need to look at what's happening when this gets very big and very small. All right? So if we think about this, if we put 2 into here and 2 into here, we're getting something divided by 0. So a, big, a, a number divided by something very, very small, because that's 0, but if it's very, very small, then the actual value would be very, very large. So this is going to actually be infinite. All right? First time we've talked about infinity. Sometimes it's even more straightforward than that. Sometimes you'll have something like this. Okay, again, if we put 1 in here, 1 minus 1 equals 0. But if we actually um, simplify this, so if we've got 2, oh, I want, and change that, guys, to minus, uh, uh, minus 2. All right, if we go 2x minus 1 over x plus 1, x minus 1, <coughs> All right, then we can cancel these two out. All right, if we put one in here, we would have got zero on the bottom. If we put one in here, we would have got zero on the bottom, so it still doesn't have a value. But now that we've cancelled it out, we're asking what's happening as we put one in of two over x plus one. So two over two equals one. So it appears that it should have been 1, but it's not going to exist. So the difference is, what is the value and what is the limit, all right? So that's the algebraic sense of it. It's actually easier to see if we look at pictures. So I'm going to have a look at pictures now. So they will often give you a graph like whatever, and they'll say, okay, um, here's y equals, but this value here, see that empty dot? We call that empty dot a crevical. Okay, so that empty dot is at 1. And we're going to say that the, the value is basically x squared. So what we're going to say is, we, what we're interested in is, if we say that this is f of x, the function, and this is x, f of 1 equals does not exist. Because there is no value there. There's an empty hole or a critical there. There's no value. But the limit 
as x approaches 1 of f of 1 is what? So it looks like, let's put 2 on here, it looks like as we approach this value, so coming from both sides, our fingers are going to meet at 2. That makes the limit 2, all right? So it's important to use your fingers, travel like a train, where is the train going to crash? If the train doesn't crash, then there isn't a limit, all right? So you must be able to have your, your fingers crashing. So quite a common one is this one. What is the limit as x approaches 0, all right? As we go up, it is going to crash. Where is it going to crash? It's going to crash at infinity, positive infinity. So the limit here of as x approaches 0 of f of x is infinity, all right? So when we're talking about limits, we're talking about what does it look like the value should be. It, does, it isn't about what it actually is. It can be what it is. A limit can actually be the value. But more often than not, we're talking about what doesn't exist and therefore what that value might be. All right. So mean girls is your homework. Just do enough of this to have a handle of it. There's plenty and plenty of them in both Delta and your EAS flipbook. So do what you need to do to have some understanding of it. Okay, guys.